Brazil, often called the sleeping giant of South America, occupies over half of the continent. It is larger than the 48 contiguous states of the U.S. and has a coastline extending over 4,000 miles. The world's greatest river, the Amazon, flows 2,000 miles through Brazil's vast Amazon rainforest, which covers an area two-thirds the size of the United States. Most of Brazil is in the tropical climate zone. Even though it is fabulously rich in timber and minerals, Brazil's greatest resource is people. Over 150 million people live in this vast land, where the population doubles every 40 years. Brazil is made up of a variety of peoples and cultures. It is home to many European nationalities, Asians and other minority groups, and a diminishing number of Amerindians, the Native Americans of South America. Spiritually, Brazil is truly a sleeping giant. In 1500, Brazil's traditional Christianity arrived with Pedro Cabral, who claimed Brazil for Portugal. It was much later that the message of the gospel was first preached there. Gradually, as lives were changed, the message of the reality of a personal relationship with Jesus Christ began to spread. Within the last 10 or 15 years, the biblical message of salvation has begun to be widely accepted, and today, about 20% of all Brazil calls itself evangelical. The sleeping giant is beginning to awaken. As far as Wesleyans are concerned, it all started with the Indians of Guyana. From the early part of this century, Pilgrim Holiness missionaries had worked in this little country to the north of Brazil. Many of them ministered to remote Indian tribes located near the Brazilian border. To this day, Wesleyan Indians from Guyana evangelize among the Indians of northern Brazil. As contacts were made across the border, both missionaries and Indians began to feel concern for the spiritual welfare of the multitudes of Brazilians who lived in superstition and in ignorance of eternal life. This burden for the spiritual needs of Brazil resulted in the adoption of a plan by the 1958 General Conference to immediately open missionary work in Brazil. The next year, we were sent as the first of several missionary families to serve in this giant land of spiritual darkness. As new missionaries, we spent the first year learning to speak Portuguese, the beautiful language of Brazil. A year later, Paul and Sally Philippi, who had worked for two years with the Indians of Guyana, were transferred to Brazil. In May of 1961, after many contacts, the first church was opened in the city of Manaus, the capital of the vast state of Amazonas, located in the Amazon River Valley of northern Brazil. The very first convert, an 18-year-old mother by the name of Luzia, remains a faithful member of that original church. The work continued to grow. A second church was opened in 1963. The missionaries immediately sensed the need for the training of Brazilian converts who were being called to minister to their own people. To meet this need, a fledgling Bible school was begun under the direction of Paul Philippi. Students were rather few in those first years, and in fact, only one of the four original students graduated from the four-year course. He was Raimundo Messias Meida, a young man who in his mid-teens lived in a remote area of the Amazon. He had suffered the loss of a leg due to snake bite. Later, he was converted in our home in Manaus and entered Bible school. At the same time, he labored to support himself and complete his secular education. Today, Haimundu is the district superintendent of the Amazonas district. In 1968, the missionary team was expanded by the appointment of Jim and Evangeline Lindner, who effectively served for eight years pastoring and teaching in the Bible school. Other churches were opened in various areas of Manaus, and even in Itapeasu, an Amazon River town 140 miles downstream. More young people felt God's call, graduated from Bible school, and entered the ministry. 
Today, there are 10 Wesleyan churches in the Amazonas district and several mission works, all under the direction of Brazilian pastors and workers. Gradually, the giant awakens. The work expanded. Ron and Betty Lou Pickett joined the Brazil missionary team in 1976. In 1981, together with Brazilian pastor Jorge Gomes da Silva, they pioneered a new outreach in the coastal city of Fortaleza, capital of the northeastern state of Ceará, located 1,600 miles east of Manaus. Four churches have been planted in that city of two million people. Pastor Jorge has since been joined by his two brothers from Manaus and other local workers. What tremendous promise there is in this great city. Other changes took place. The Philippines retired after 31 years of fruitful service in Brazil. Tim and Marcia Fisher gave dedicated service in the development of the Bible School in Fortaleza until 1993. Clifton and Arletta Ashlock were appointed to Brazil in 1991. Cliff was placed in charge of the Manaus Bible School, now called Wesleyan Evangelical Seminary, and saw it grow to a total of 91 students. Tom and Grace Enns joined us in Brazil in 1992. Tom is currently the director of the seminary in Manaus. Because of the Lord's blessing, the missionaries had seen the work grow to nine Brazilian ordained Wesleyan ministers, seven licensed ministers, and a number of lay ministers. The giant continued to awaken. As we met for our annual mission council meeting in 1992, we all sensed the desire for a greater outreach for Wesleyans in Brazil. We felt that the time had arrived. There are 10 cities in Brazil with a population of over 1 million people. There are countless other cities, small towns, villages, and rural areas in Brazil's 26 states, so many places where the gospel of Christ has yet to reach. We were impressed that God was directing us to team American and Brazilian missionaries to evangelize these needy people and establish his church. It would be a challenging and enthusiastic plan, calling for a major expansion of staff in order to aggressively reach out to the northeastern region of Brazil, but God promised to provide the needed direction. Here's how it works. Outreach to other cities. We are currently working in the city of Fortaleza, capital of Ceará, one of the states of northeastern Brazil. This region is home to about 30% of the population of the country. Fortaleza thus serves as an excellent base from which to begin the outreach to another capital or other great city of the region. Team Ministry. After new missionaries Kevin and Cindy Smith have completed their first term in Manaus, they are scheduled to be reassigned to a northeastern city new to Wesleyan work. They will be accompanied by a Brazilian home missionary. Together they will open and develop a new work. Ongoing outreach. As new personnel and funds become available, this scenario will be repeated in other major cities of northeastern Brazil. Already, Jeff and Shelley Bennett have been approved and are in the process of building their prayer and financial support team in anticipation of joining the Brazil missionary staff. Training of workers. As new works develop and God continues to call laborers into his harvest, Extension Bible Schools will be open to train them. National Church Organization. As new districts are established, a Brazilian church organization of national scope will be developed to coordinate the work. World Outreach. As the Brazilian Wesleyan Church expands, as its vision grows, we look forward to the day when Brazilian missionaries will reach out to encompass spiritually needy people around the world. How powerful is an awakened giant when God is in control? Today, there are still 120 million souls in Brazil waiting to hear the message of new life in Jesus Christ. They are forever lost without Him. Open your heart and seek God's direction. Invest your life in the glorious message that makes a difference in people's lives. Become a participant as a missionary. 
Wesleyan missionaries have labored long and hard to establish the work in Brazil. Others are responding to the call to take up the challenge. Still more are needed. Be an intercessor or a financial partner as the Wesleyan Church expands throughout Brazil. Join with the Brazil mission team as together we accept this great challenge. The giant of South America has slept long enough it is now awakening to the gospel of Jesus Christ. <laughs>